What's going on guys? I hope you're having a wonderful day because I know I am. It is not the morning, so good afternoon. Listen, you already seen the title, so you know what's going on. You know the vibes. I just clocked out of work. I'm about to head up to the track and we're going to see what kind of times we can put down. I don't know. There's a, there's a bunch of variables. I'm going to be honest with you. There's a lot of variables behind that, but we'll see what it does. I'm curious. I'm going to try some things out. Just we'll figure it out together. So before we do any more changes, yes, us, we, together, before we do any more changes to the G80, I'll have like a general baseline. And it sucks because I'm old school, so I don't have a draggy yet. I'm gonna get one, I just don't have one yet. Another thing about this that sucks is I'm going by myself. All my friends hate me apparently, so no one wanted to go to the drag strip. Um, so I'm trying my best to get good footage. Maybe I'll make a friend. Maybe somebody will volunteer to record for me when I'm there. Maybe I'll have to do something really illegal in one hand, whip the car and make a pass. We'll see. I I'll figure it out. I'm, I'm going to try to figure out something for you guys. I need, you need the content. You deserve it. You know? So that's about it. I'm about to head up there and uh, we're going to make this thing happen. All right, guys. I'm back. I had to stop grab some cash because I don't remember if this drag strip takes cards or not. I don't know if they take the digital money so I had to grab some cash. Only like 15, I legit worked like 15 minutes away from the strip which is cool. Um, for times like this. They opened at 5. I don't know when they stopped doing tech but they raced till 10 so I can't imagine they would stop doing tech at um at a certain amount of time i think they do it all day i hope i just want to get a couple passes and see what my car does you know but yeah honestly the drive is gonna be pretty boring if i'm gonna be honest so I'm going to catch back up with you guys when I pull up to the street. Alright. Had to turn my rod wave off for y'all one time. We almost had the track. We're like three minutes away. Alright, I might have lied. Uh, the drive wasn't that boring. You know, you got a, it's a bunch of back roads. The drag strip is out here like in the country, bro. Again, I'm, I'm apologizing in advance. I'm gonna try to get as much video as I can of me actually racing, but it's looking like it's gonna be complicated. I, 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 and I hear you, I hear you right now. I'm going to, after this, after today, when I go home, I'm going to order a GoPro. I'm gonna order some mounts and all of that because this, this I, I can't create the, the content that I want without these tools. And I've been I've been playing around. I'm not gonna lie to you, but never again. I will never shortchange y'all again. Okay. But anyway, tonight is actually streetcar night at the strip, so it might be a little competitive. I don't really know what that means. It's not the normal testing tune. I think it's testing tune streetcar night. So. I'm gonna run no time only because a lot of the local racers like in my area maryland whatever whatever they they come out to this track every once in a while and they love to talk i'm trying to tell you y'all you don't know gossip until you get around a bunch of street races all right everybody wants to know what everybody got everybody's trying to have a leg up on somebody so i'm running no time just because you never know who watching you never know who knows who who's seen what all of that and i want to keep my disappointment to myself just in case i'm the first 14 second g80 but as you can see I'm pulling up right now and i'm praying i'm praying i'm praying that i can still get tacked in Catch 
up to you guys in like three minutes. Let me. Like some decent cars out here though. We got some Honda action. Okay. All right, I'll get back up with you. All right, guys. So I did my first pass. I, like I said, I don't have anybody recording. Shit's kind of hectic here or whatever but i'll show you the time so the time for the first pass was a hold on wait a minute we did a 11 to a 127 but look at the look at the we're not gonna worry about the reaction time look at the 60 foot a 1960 foot so what happened was i didn't get my launch set up right so i pulled up to the um i pulled up to the light and i deep stage i went straight to deep stage so me being me, I just backed up, threw it in drive, blah, 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 I got everything set up, and then it was go time, so I didn't even get a chance to really launch it. Like I said, it's streetcar night, not testing tune. So they are actually running uh, reaction times. We're going off the light. You're actually going off the light. Um, so this go round, I'm gonna be extra slow pulling up to the light, okay? I'm gonna get it staged and set up properly, like I've done this before, and get the launch going and we're gonna see we're gonna see what it does um there's a lot of cars out here it's a whole lot i've seen some people i know funny enough that's why i'm glad i went no time but um yeah we'll see the lines backed up every second or third pass somebody's spilling something or something so they clean the track up we'll see how many passes i can get if i can get two to three if i can get two more really good passes if i can get one more good pass i'll be happy but the goal is to get two to three more passes. Hopefully, as I get these passes, um, we can make some improvements. I already know where I can improve at off the brake. Tires are working really, really well. Um, these NT triple fives doing good. When I took off, they hooked. Just didn't get a good launch. So I'm gonna try it again, heat them up, and yeah. So get up with you in a few i'm sorry i can't bring you any racing footage i'm so so sorry matter of fact what's up dude i'll put the phone in the car and i'll let you hear me run i'll aim it at me and i'll let you hear me run that's the best that i can do but it'll work all right we're gonna make this work i got you i promise all right, guys, we up next. I'm going to try a, a, a way to get y'all to... I'm going to bring y'all with me this time, okay? I'm going to try to figure this shit out. I'm literally up next. You can see it. So the, the orientation going to be a little jacked up. But, boom. You should be able to see me. So now I'm just waiting. He's going to do his burnout. And I think I'm about to get the ZL1. Yeah. Yeah, I've been waiting. I wanted something that was somewhat in my class. It's a there's an M240 behind them, one of the new uh, M240s. I don't know the chassis code for them, but the ZL1 over here about to get it. Yeah, about to get it. Stage it up perfect. Shit.
picked up a mile an hour if i can get the launch a little bit better i'm gonna see if i can launch it a little bit harder i think we can see tens today if i can get another pass and it's kind of crowded so i'm gonna come back to you when i get back to the pit lanes all right guys so i lowered the tire pressure hopefully this motherfucker let me go over 80 because it gets finicky as hell with that little tire pressure bro but um but yeah so i lowered the tire pressure we're gonna see what it does now uh I'm hoping we can crack that 10 under 11 1, which isn't terrible, but I know she's got a whole lot more in her. Bro. So I'm going to take y'all with me on this one. This time I'm in the right lane instead of the left. So we'll see how she acts. Uh, I'm going to be next up racing. I'll be racing. I don't know what, the, what I'm going to be racing, to be honest. But we'll see. We'll see. It's cool stuff out here, man. It's a whole bunch of cool shit out here. Getting a solo pass on. Let's see what the Daza does. Let's see what the Daza does. It's a good view. <laughs> Trying to find the groove is actually a pain. They're fucking mopping the ground in front of me and whatnot.
were gonna see. So we're getting ready to see what the time was. Hopefully that whole video wasn't zoomed in like that. That would kind of suck. Uh, 4.15. I'm picking up mile an hour. Every pass, I picked up one mile an hour. What was the with a with a shit? They did is mad weird. Uh, sixty foot of uh one one seven. Look at that. So we get that sixty foot down to like a one five one six maybe. That's a lot to ask because even the X drive guys are going one four. So we can get like a one five one six out of it. This will be a, 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 a 10, 10, 6, 10, 7 car. Maybe a 10, 5. But mind you, I'm only stage 2 off the shelf from BM3. And I'm rear wheel drive. So we got to take that into account. So that's 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 pretty substantial in my opinion. That's pretty substantial. I think it is, that's a great basis to learn from. It really took well to me lowering the PSI. So let's get up. Let's see if we can get one more pass. And let's see if I can get a 10, 8 or something. That'd be nice. So officially, I have officially made faster passes in my, I'm not going to call this a daily, it's not my daily, in my fun car than I have in my literal race car. I love this car, guys. You can't beat that. I'm off the shelf, too. I'm going 10 rear wheel drive. Like, come on. Come on. I knew it had it in it. I can leave here saying I got a 10 second car. My shit goes 10, so let's go. All right, guys, I'm back. I've collected myself. I just made a new friend in the pit lanes and everything. If you can't see me, I apologize. I'm gonna turn the light on. So, uh, I made the determination that I'm gonna keep my tire pressure the same. It's at about 25 right now. And I'm going to try to spool up a little bit more. It seems like the track is, well, obviously, the track is a lot different from the street. So on the street, when I would launch it, I could get it up to about 2K before the wheels would start pushing through the brakes. And in this case, I would red light, but it's been taking it really well. So I'm going to spool it up a little bit more, try to hit the launch a little bit harder. And um, I'm going to see if I'm basically going to see if I can cut that that 60 foot down. I really I want to hit the anti leg for the launch, but. The last time I tried to hit it on the street, it, it's really finicky. It's, it's really, really finicky. And I don't want to red light and I don't want to waste my last pass. So that'll be the next video. We'll take it out on the street or something and try to get some test launches in. But for now, I'm just gonna try to get a clean, a clean launch and launch in the way I have been doing, like everybody else does their BMWs. I'm gonna see if I can. I can lower that that 60 foot also another thing i did i didn't mention was i put the chassis in comfort mode the thought behind that is when you're when you're racing and primarily drag racing you want all of that weight to transfer onto your power tires when you're all-wheel drive it don't matter that much it does because you know but when you're real drive like me i need all of that weight as much as that weight as possible to transfer onto my rear tires and get the most grip so i put it in comfort mode this man has the cam of Godzilla, Jesus Christ. So I put it in comfort mode so that when I do launch it, all the body weight, as much as possible, shifts to those rear wheels and gives me maximum traction. It seems like it liked that a lot. That definitely is a change that I'm keeping because my first pass, which was a 1.9 60 foot, my second pass was a 1.7, and that's when I that's the change I made. And I think I launched it a little bit harder and better. No, 1.8. My third pass, the 60 foot was a 1.7 and again I launched it a little bit better that time than the first two times and I had the chassis and comfort so I'm gonna leave the chassis and comfort get another good hot burnout just loving these burnouts and we're gonna see 
if I can hit a 10 8. We did 10 9. We got a 10 second rear wheel drive G80. Let's go. First on. Shit, I might be the first on YouTube. I did my research. I might be the first guy on YouTube that's even going this hard about a rear wheel drive G80. I'm pretty sure someone will pop out of the woods. That's the title of this video now. It was going to be Dry Racing My G80. First rear wheel drive G80 in the 10s. Let's go. I can't wait. Yeah, that's my title. I want to argue with people now. So, I'm going to get back up with y'all in a couple of minutes. Um, I should be up soon. There's probably a good handful of cars in front of me. But you'll know. Alright, guys. So, I'm basically next up. I'm racing either an IROC that's probably faster than me. I don't know. Anytime a car has got multiple colors and slicks and skeins, it's probably faster than me. Or this car with a parachute is definitely faster than me. Or that car's grandfather is probably definitely faster than me. So, so y'all know the drill, man. I'm up next. I'm going to throw the joint down. And we going to get it in, all right? Let's see if I can get a good burnout going. I'm on my way home. I didn't show y'all, show me picking up the slip that time just because I was upset. But um, I ran a back to an 11 2 uh, at 128. And I know why that happened. So I got a little, I got a little aggressive. I remember I told you I was going to push it a little bit harder. Well, I pushed a little bit too hard. And just like I said it would, it pushed through the brake. And I tripped the beam. But I tripped the beam after the light went green. So I got a, a two second 60 foot, <laughs> two second 60 foot. Um, I don't think they factored that into the past though. Cause this is, it's a, uh, cause it's a street car night, but yeah. Oh, and then another thing randomly, I don't know if I mentioned this before, my launch control activated, finally wanted to work. My launch control, like the actual launch control, hasn't been working since I tuned the car. But every once in a blue moon, 
it decides that it wants to work. And of course, on my last pass, on my glory pass, it uh, it activates. So that that kind of sucked. And the reason is not the reason, but fucking the 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 launch control on these cars is like not the best at all. So my car wasn't loaded up how it was supposed to be. All these excuses, blah, blah, blah. We're going to bring it back out again. I'm doing this again. This was fun. I keep going at this rate, though. I'm going to need some more tires. I, I've definitely warmed it up, though. But I left it in auto. No, I put it in. I was in manual when I stayed in second gear this time when I, when I warmed the tires up. The first couple of times I was in auto and I did my burnouts. And honestly, I might keep it that way because you gradually get more wheel speed. And, um, oh, I gotta find a way to find it, like, ASAP. Uh, hold on. Alright, I forgot where I left off at, but, yeah. Next time, oh, shit, that's a state trooper. So, next time, I'm gonna leave it in auto and let it heat the tires up. I feel like it does it a lot better that way. Get a lot more wheel speed going. Um, I'm going to find a Royal Farms right now. I gotta put some more air in my tires. I'm at like 25 BSI. Um, good for drag racing, not good for driving. So, I'm gonna get some air in the tires. But honestly, guys, that's that's it for the video. I did the best I could. The angles did kind of suck. I think I should have a video coming soon. Uh, one of the guys that I met that has a G82. He went a 9.7. Must be nice to have extra. And um, my last pass, he recorded me. Of course, my worst pass of all, he recorded me. So, I said I have that coming. You know, I'll bring that to you. Something from the outside. I know my car sounded amazing. If nothing else, the car sounded good. But I'm still proud, though. I had, I had a 10.9. Okay. Um, that's good for me on a staged off the shelf stage two unlock car. I feel like rear wheel drive. I feel like that's not bad. I'm in the tens, so we just got to chip away, slowly chip away, and see if we can get to them. Now, I'm gonna show y'all something. Favorite part about my exhaust is when I come up on fucking on troopers and whatnot. Look, check that out. Boom, hit the button. You hear? Y'all hear the car now? Hear that? She's dead silent sounds like a Camry. You can't beat it. But that's me signing out. Um, that's about all I got for you. I'm going to go put some air in my tires and then go home and find some food. A man is starving. I only ate one time today. I was so hyped about getting to the truck. I didn't even eat today. So I'm starved half to death. Until next time, fam.